Uh -uh. We going in the house because I'm tired of fighting with bees flying around my ears. Like, I, all I hear is. Hey, y'all. What's going on? I am off work, and as you can see, I'm in the backyard. Them squirrels be like just talking. Um, where is it? I gotta be careful because I'm trying not to walk into a spider. Well, oh, there it is right there. There's a squirrel that's talking. I don't know if y'all can see it. I have not watered stuff in the backyard in a minute so that's what we're out here doing today we just gonna water everything and we'll check on the progress of um, our seeds that we planted so just a little quick video for today it's nice it's like 72 73 degrees it feels good out haven't been outside today so here we are. I'm gonna um, let y'all see what's going on now though. So I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and take, ooh, we got some red tomatoes back there. I'm gonna pick those, but tomorrow I'm probably gonna come out here and pick all the tomatoes. And the eggplant never did anything the flower right there but I'm gonna pick all the tomatoes all the green ones just let them turn colors in the house oh man I didn't even see this look at this I should have picked came out here and picked these a while ago look at that I'm gonna just cut the green ones off and I'm just gonna fry them have some fried green tomatoes let's see what else we got <clears throat> yeah, I gotta water this stuff Oh, the peas have grown a lot since we were last out here. Is that a worth been digging? Yep. Oh, maybe that's from why I didn't cover it the first time. But we got more pea shoots coming up. And look at that. I don't know if I can get y'all in there closer. Look, look, we can see our radishes. We need to fix this little plant here. Because that's like. We need to do that and. Oh, wait, this is a pea shoot that we need to string up. Oh, I need to string that up. So we got some ooh, really good growth back here. Look at that. Mosquitoes are out there. Good lord. You can see the growth down there. So this is coming along really well. over here this is doing good Let's see. put y'all in there everything in here is coming along nicely um, we still got more strawberry flowers popping up and over here this is broccoli and kale so it's gonna be time for me to definitely transplant this stuff so I'm going to come out tomorrow and do some transplanting. That's a potato. It's a potato in here. Because that right there. That's the top of a potato. So it's potatoes growing in here with the broccoli. Lord. And I haven't planted anything over here. But we still got zinnias blooming. Look. Still got flowers blooming. That is insane. This weather is so crazy. So all of those back there, that's a new baby one. That one, where'd it go? Right there. But these, I'm going to pick all of these and get the seeds. So I think that's it over here. The jasmine, I got to figure out what to do for this jasmine because I'm not sure if I need to um, winterize it, but it ain't even winter yet. So we'll see. Um, nothing is going on down here where I've dropped the carrot seeds. And yo, look at this zinnias. Zinnia flowers still coming in in October. The oregano has grown. We need to pick these dead ones off. That's a whole piece that doesn't need to be on there. This is lettuce. Needs to be watered. This is the um 
mescaline mix. We got kale, not kale, parsley. The onions, they used to be doing their thing. I forgot what I dropped right here, but you can see some popping up. I forgot what, oh, broccoli. We dropped some broccoli seeds through here. <clears throat> Over here, we still have some dill coming in. There and there. Um, we got some, I think this is where I dropped some mescaline seeds down there and there. So this is some spinach. I don't know if you can see, but those are some spinach shoots coming up. The colors are doing, coming in really slowly from when I transplanted them, but at least they are coming in. I hate that the bugs have gotten to them. I need to go get some more spray for them. And y'all, I don't forget what I dropped right here, but look, I need to start labeling stuff. But look, we got growth. Potatoes, not doing anything. The onions, they always stay working. And this is the um the other, the Chinese broccoli. So, and then that was cabbage seeds back there, which nothing has happened. So, we need to just, and that, you know, these herbs are still growing. The rosemary is still nice. The sage is coming back. So, we need to water everything. But I'm definitely going to get all of these tomatoes down. I'm going to take all of this down tomorrow. All of it. Because it's not doing anything. But let's get to watering. So that's how I know water is there, and it's the same for this. Water will start to come out of the bottom, and that's how I know when to stop watering. And make sure I go around this way and water too. But I still kind of have to be gentle so that I'm not overdoing it and beating the plant up. And you see, water is coming down where the holes have been drilled in. And I need to actually move these closer. Because my hose, I don't know, sometimes my hose be acting like it don't want to stretch. But while we over here, we might as well water the carrot seeds. I'm tripping that we have many of flowers coming in and it's October. Let's see, it's just going to act right. Nope, this hose, man, it be acting crazy. And it is stretched. Oh, oh, I forgot to take it around the other part of the tree. And I didn't pull it all the way over. That would be a problem. Okay. Now it should stretch all the way so that I can water the kale and the broccoli. Yep. Bam. I'm going to water the peach tree while I'm at it. Oops, sorry. I'm going to put the water hose in y'all face. But the leaves are starting to fall off. And that's, I think it's because it was getting cold. We have cold days, hot day, warm days, cold days, warm days. I think that's why the leaves are starting to fall off. I need to do research because I've never had a peach tree before. So I need to check that out and see what that's all about. And with my grow bags, I always do this to the grow bags too. I always like to wet my grow bags. Oh, you know what? I think we do need to water in here though because there's some cilantro. I did plant cilantro in here. Oh, and it is some cilantro coming up. But those are cilantro like new pieces. I'm wondering if I can just go ahead and take this tomato plant out right now. Let's see. Let's try to take it out. We're working with one hand, so. Yep, and there, look. From the drainage holes that I drilled in it, it's good and watered. Oh, well, that wasn't supposed to happen. 
Oh, this thing is in there good. It's going to be kind of hard because I'm holding y'all with one hand and trying to take this out with the other. Yeah, I, we need to go get a bowl because we're going to come out here with some, we're gonna wear some gloves and pull all of the tomatoes as much as we can so we can just get this done and over with today. Oh, it was a honeybee. Lord, wait a minute. I'm not trying to get stung. But this is crazy that this is this time of year and this stuff hasn't completely died down yet. It's absolutely, actually amazing. Not crazy, but absolutely amazing. And I need to put all of my bamboo um, holes away before it gets cold because I don't want them to start cracking. Look. Look at that. That's just so heavy that it's falling this way. Lord, I just realized, look at that. We got a baby pepper trying to come in right there. Oop, look at that. <laughs> I'm going to put this right over here. Our collection of... um. We're going to make that to some steaks, some snake steaks for next year. And I'm thinking about doing, um, trying to actually make a cage, like a fence out of them. Which I think is possible. Of course, I'll have to harass my dad to help me. Let's go around here. Oh, you know what? Girl, focus. Do one thing at a time. Let's finish watering everything first. Yeah, look at that. I dug that hole way too deep. I think I'm going to build a little fence like around here from over there around this pole around this i'm thinking about going from this step all the way back and have it go all the way in the front and take it back that way just to do it for the winter time i mean it might last for the summertime too but at least if i have a cage or fencing of some sort it can keep stuff out the other side of the parking lot waving her red hair stuck out from under a blue hat that matched the blue in the dress that hung from under a purple jacket speckled with yellow stars. Her feet and legs were covered in red striped leggings and navy galoshes. She looked like a box of Skittles. I wondered if she had on. You ready? As ready as I'll ever be, I said. Still not completely. Hugged on my arm and headed for the door. I have permission to go in early. Can you go into the office? Not to find out if Ari. I decided. I decided to try and um just bring it up here and cut everything off. I'm listening to one of my um audible books, so that's why I'm not really talking. <laughs> I'm just working and showing y'all what I'm doing in the garden. There are so many tomatoes on this. It feels like such a waste to just get rid of this, but it's done. And so are my clips because they are cracking. So it's time to get more clips. These. I try not to lose my tomatoes, but some of them are probably going to be lost. You don't have to run on my account. Small smile forming on her thin blue tongue. I told y'all these bees are out here. Okay. So. Oh, I don't want to take this leaf in the house, but. I want uh-uh. 
we going in the house because I'm tired of fighting with bees flying around my ears. Like I, all I hear is All right, tomato bushes are down and I just need to move them um, to a trash bag so that they can actually go out for. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna save these and I'm gonna figure out how to compost them. Now let's go over here and see what the box looks like and how empty it is. So something just darted from over there. It was probably one of them little, I call them salamanders, but I know that ain't what the name of it is. So look how empty, empty it is now. So empty. That's it for today. Um, I'm going in because I'm going in because I'm tired of fighting mosquitoes and honeybees. Now I'm gonna take all these tomatoes in the house, and I'll just show y'all one last time of what I just cut off of the tomato bushes that I'm gonna ripen in the house, and um, we're gonna shut this baby down for the day. This one is gonna have to go in the trash. What did I do with my light? I did it again. Something that is weird with my light again. I gotta fix that. I don't wanna have to reset the camera, but I'm gonna have to, but I, let me see what this is like. I should probably turn the phone off, huh? Stop the book from playing, cause that's rude. There's still some good inside of there see so let's taste it it's probably not all the way right because I can tell by the color but we're gonna see actually kind of tart mm -mm, I can eat that new and it was mushy it was tart and mushy but I got a lot of tomatoes pulled. We'll see how they um, ripen in the windowsill. But I wanted to wash them off. One, because I wanted to make sure I didn't bring no bugs in the house. And two, because they have so much um, DE on them and stuff like that. This thing is hard. So I'm really curious to see how this one ripens. And I probably want, I'm gonna let, I'm not gonna let it completely ripen because I do want to fry it green. And I think it's supposed to be that hard when I fry it green now that I think about it. So, I'm gonna fry this little cute one right here. Ain't she cute? I'm gonna fry her and this one. The rest of these, I'm just gonna sit them and let them um, ripen. But we got a really good, um, we got a good amount of them. They look like green grapes. And I really need to pull those tomato bushes down because that was, I knew that they weren't ripening anymore on the, on the bush, on the vine. But I was just ha holding out hope. So now that they're off and clean, I'm going to, Sit them out on a towel for them to dry tonight and then I'll sit them in the windowsill and hope for the best. I'm proud of this. I am quite proud of this, you know, harvest though.